Christmas collection has arrived. I have some confessions to make though in the spirit of Christmas. One, I have already tried a couple of these flavors. Um, I went to Nashville recently. I went to the Jenny's. They had the holiday flavors out. I was not, not going to try them, right? Like, come on, I don't have that kind of willpower. But um, prior to the trip, I had ordered what I thought I had wanted blind. So um, when I purchased these, I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. So the first one I have for you today is Mexican hot chocolate. So this is apparently the flavor that inspired Jenny to start making ice cream to begin with. I think she was at some sort of party. There was chocolate ice cream, and she put cayenne pepper in it. Something. She put something hot in it. Everybody thought it was weird. Everybody thought it was wonderful. And then she made an iteration of this flavor. It used to be called like Queen City Cayenne, I think at one point. It's the same thing. The flavor story. It says, deeply milky, almost bouncy chocolate ice cream, Vietnamese cinnamon, the red hot kind, and a subtle burning flame of cayenne on the finish. This is the flavor that forever changed my life. See, here you go. The reason I quit art school and started making ice cream. It's had many names over the years, most recently Queen City Cayenne. This is its original. Whatever we call our spicy chocolate is still as beautiful as ever. I swear I didn't read the pint before I did the intro. Um, I just know way too much about it. Uh, the flavor. Description at the top says, velvety rich, mouth tingling, milk chocolate, spiked with cinnamon and cayenne. I always appreciate uh, Jenny's ability to <laughs> use terms like mouth tingling and mouth gripping. Upon first glance, it looks like just plain milk chocolate ice cream, right? There's like, you know, pretty basic chocolate ice cream vibes happening here, nothing crazy. All right, so I have had this out sitting for like uh, five, 10 minutes max. So it's been chilling on the counter, unchilling. And we're gonna go in. So because there's no mix-ins, I don't have to like dig around and try to find like, you know, a perfect bite. It's just like a one flat flavor. So here we go. Wow. Whoa, okay. So when you first take the bite, you get the chocolate, right? That's like the primary flavor. You're like, oh, nice chocolate ice cream. And as it starts to melt down on your tongue, you get the cinnamon. And it's like, oh, that's really yummy. It's like a chocolate cinnamon, little graham cracker moment sort of thing. And then once you've swallowed it, there's like this heat in the back of your mouth from the cayenne. And it kind of like, it does tingle. It is mouth tingling. I will give her that. It's delicious. I think it's a really impressive flavor. I like how it takes you on this journey from like, it hits each individual flavor in it. And then you could just start that ride all over again with another bite. Go from chocolate, cinnamon, cayenne, then chocolate, cinnamon, cayenne. It is really good. Um, I can understand why this got her like into the ice cream business. I didn't show, even show you the pint art. Like it makes sense that she went to art school because all of the pints are super cute. And um, it's got like, you know, the little chocolate drizzles from the hot chocolate and the little spicy red flecks of the cayenne. You know, she thinks of everything. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think on a reading, this gets a 10. This is super good. Um, it's really unique. I haven't had ice cream that's anything like this before. Um, it does not have mix-ins, but the complexity and like the, the variation and the flavor totally makes up for it. The texture's good, it's really smooth, um, it's soft, and it just hits like every, every note. Like it hits everything you can want in a snack, I think. So Mexican hot chocolate, 10 out of 10. We got a 10 guys, that's the scoop. See you next time.